Okay, well, I plugged it in, and I heard the Windows noise, you know, ba-bunk, ba-bunk. And then, um, yeah, it goes ba-bunk, 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 ba-bunk. Uh, still having this message, and I think it's for the new thing I plugged in. Not recognized. So, keyboard won't do anything either. Mouse won't do anything. Of course, and I knew this one wouldn't. Oh, wait, the mouse works. So, hey, okay, so that mouse works. Well, uh, if all else fails, oh, it says the device driver not successfully installed. So guess what, it's working. See, there's exactly proving my point. Here in a little bit, maybe the keyboard will still work. I do have it on, don't I? <sighs> I could see, yeah, there's the green. Okay. So, it's asking me what I want to do about my network. Okay. In order to work with a Linux net networking, you need, I have to use public on Windows 7. Network 2, public. Um, hopefully, that's all good. Let's go see if we can see what our IP address is. Okay. When you're just winging it like this, you can really make. You can't even aim the camera right. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we got a hundred megabit connection. We've got a little data going through. Properties. <coughs> That's not what I wanted. I always forget. I wanted to see, oh, there it is, details. I wanted to see my IP address. That was, oh, this is the router that's 10 dot. I was trying to figure out which one the other day when I was outside in the garage. 192.168.10.102. Oh, yeah, this is a, sorry. This is a gigab gigabit uh, adapter in this AS drive motherboard. This is a fairly new motherboard. Got to remember that. Ah, I can't hold the phone. I don't know why. Sorry. My hand is tired. It's sagging. Okay, so I've got ten. What was it? Let's see if the. Uh, <coughs> Oh yeah, I don't have screenshot turned on because this machine was running so slow. Ten uh one nine two to one six eight dot ten dot one oh two. Okay. Guess I could have left it open, couldn't I? I think I'll do that. Until I get done here. Okay. There we go. Now, I wonder if the Oh now the keyboard's working. The other one is not. Okay, well, wireless it is for right now. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's a good way to get around a problem then, huh? Okay. What do I want to go? I was going to go to my phone and try to connect to it. That was what the whole thing, uh, this phone that I'm on, though. I was going to check and see if it would serve, serve up to these other apps and stuff. Let's see. On my phone some uh, BNC apps I have on my phone. I was just fiddling. I was in the middle of doing other things, and I said, oh, I'm going to try that app. I haven't tried it in a long time. I don't remember what it does like. Oh, yeah, but I don't know. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to do. I was going to forward my... Uh, I just have to get on my server to do that because it's the one that's plugged into the Linksys. I can't get to the Linksys from this one. But I was going to forward that... Uh, remote desktop connection to AS Rock. It's, but I thought, well, TeamViewer may work. It's been work. I, well, it works on the ones on this same router. I don't have tried it on the other routers. I guess I need to go, oh, I've got to find out what my number is. I got. It may not even be running. I can't even remember at the moment whether it's booting up with Windows or not. Now I've got my problem. Oh, I'm trying to use that mouse again. Let me swap. Get my other mouse here. After a reboot, it should be okay, but. 
Okay, that's I don't want Windows 10. So Team Viewer is not running. I guess I got it. I set it so that uh, it would uh, not start with Windows, and then I could just start it up when I wanted to. You know what? I don't think that's right, though. I think maybe the server's running in the background. I think. I can't remember. No, I think I did turn it off because I wanted to use Tiger, I mean Type VNC. Yeah, yeah, Type VNC. Okay, so. So why am I even trying to do this? Okay, here's my number. <coughs> this changes over time, so it's not like I'm showing you something. 74, 951, 652. Oh, and then the. I'd have to write it down. I can't remember. I'll just switch back and forth, I guess. 74. Oh, wait a minute. I can write, I think, with one hand. Let's see. If it'll sit still. It won't sit still. But the good thing about sticky notes is if you can get one off, they're sticky. If you can, oh yeah, now it's stuck to my sticky notepad. Okay. Okay. Whoops, it's too far away for me to ride on it. <coughs> Terrible. Okay, now. 742. No, I can't remember these numbers as long as it takes me to write them down. 951. It's about my max. Three numbers at a time. 625. 742, 51, well, Actually, that number stays the same until you like do something with the app to change it. But uh, M, but the password changes. MJ5531N. MJ531N. Okay, now I should, I will find out here. We'll go see. 732, Which machine do I want? Number two. Okay, now. It, if it's been on it before, it will come up. 732. Nope, it hasn't, it's not coming up. 732, 42. What did I type? There it is. It has been. I, th I knew it had been on it before. 742, 951, 625. I'm coming to swap them out. Mices, Mises, Mices, Mouses. There we go. It does. It works on a different router. MJ531N, or at least the way I have it right now. Uh, MJ531N. Okay. I can't type this way. Let's just leave it up here. MJ531N. Yay. Okay, so... Well, that's cool. So to use Team Viewer, I don't have to forward do all that forwarding stuff with the router. Now that I know the IP address, I could try it in my other app too and see. But uh, now, what's my point here? I have no clue anymore. I got so uh, tangled up in problems that I just started solving problems, and I don't even know what my original idea was. Can I copy that? No. 192.168.10.102. So I can't make a video on the phone. I mean, not the way I'm hooked up now. It is possible if I use my phone explorer, then I could actually show it. I could make a desktop video and show it, but I, that's I'm not going to do that right now. So it's back online, <coughs> and there's something wrong with that Linksys, that port on the Linksys. So I guess it's the hardware is beginning to fail. That's a real shame. Because I like that router. But uh, I don't know what else, what other ports are working or not working now. 
that's fourth port or first, whichever number it's got on it. It's the one that's not working no matter what you put in it. And uh, but it is sending a signal, you know, from on this port over to this uh, Trinet router. Uh, so the input from the uh, TP Link, that port works, the WAN port, wide area network, the port going out, that router works, and I know the one going to my IBM server works. This one here, I don't remember what it's labeled, blue FIC. Okay, so that's over in my rack. So, but, I mean, that's probably something I can't do anything about, but just say, oh, so I miss you. I'm going to miss you, but. Uh, if you don't work, I can't use you no more. I mean, I can leave it like it is for right now, but you know, when you go for months not knowing, you got problems, and then there seem, seem uh, you quite don't know what they are. It's only a 54 megabit wireless, 2.4 gigahertz, but it's actually a stronger signal than this TP link. That's a fairly new TP link with, uh, it's the newest one I got, with three antennas. I thought it would be pretty strong. Of course, they said it was strong, but uh, and how wonderful it was. But it's a, I like it. But it's and it has two bandwidths, uh, five gigahertz, and I guess it's two point four, might be close to it, if not two point four. But uh, <coughs> but you know it's new and it's working fine. It's an N seven fifty. And the only thing is, I had to turn off the. I wanted to be able to use the USB. Sharing. I mean, I could even plug in my USB hard drive to it. Uh, well, I could, but I wouldn't want to because then I couldn't get to. It's only FTP. That's the only kind of sharing it does. SMB for Windows and FTP, and uh, I wouldn't want to use it that way. Uh, so it's better that it's just a drive plugged in. I just plug it into whatever computer I want to copy files from to, you know, like that. It works pretty good that way. But uh, I wouldn't do it with this TP Link router because it's got vulnerabilities. And I've been wanting to put some uh, open source firmware on it, but I haven't done it. Well, I'm using it, I'm using it all the time, so I just turned off the FTP sharing. I don't have that on at all. Well, I don't have anything in it to be shared, but uh, evidently they can get, get into your network through that when that's when that's turned on. Uh, so I've never caught anybody getting in there. I have logs uh, that logs attempts, you know, and stuff on my server. So I haven't caught anybody trying to get in it. So I don't think it's open with as long as you turn off the uh, FTP sharing file sharing <clears throat> but and I don't have anything plugged into the ports either. that won't go all the way back around because it's just barely making it I can unloosen that wad down that roll up down there and get get some slack I need to pull it all out of there get it back over to that side if that's where it's going to stay but uh, I'm not putting my head under that dusty disc right now I'll wait until tonight right before my bath if I can remember to do it and uh, oh it's gonna fall off there it's just not gonna make it could put it actually now that I've if it doesn't hang up no it won't make it it's got other things that's hanging on down there that's my wire to my that little white wire that goes to my uh, outdoor thermometer that's pretty cool this was my mom's and it had fell behind her bed and she didn't even know she still had it and I found it when I was doing something for her in there. Checking out a bad lamp, but when you switch it, it'll show the outdoor. It takes a little while to completely change. There's a thing that makes it stand up and every time you touch it, it folds up. If you leave it alone, it's great. But that's way off. It's not 75. It, it, the only bad thing is if the sun's shining on this window here, then it's hanging it's kind of sitting in between the window and the screen out there but if the sun's shining on that side of the house then it's not accurate but otherwise it is okay now it's getting it says 41.7 which is probably about right because it's 39 in Fort Worth that's the Fort Worth temperature there and Hazel's where I'm at it's last time I looked a couple hours ago it was a couple of degrees cooler than that I think or a degree cooler so anyway um, I guess that's Fort Worth. This is on Windows system, isn't it? No, that's my no, that's my Linux system. The Windows is in the Team Viewer. Okay, so you, I'm just gonna leave all this stuff sitting in the weird places for right now, uh, until I'm finished fiddling around with everything. 
Make sure didn't leave the light on on that. <clears throat> okay, so. Yeah, once I get this, uh, I've got to redo the little 30 gig hard drive. I put this 64-bit Windows 7 on it. just got filled up by all these system stuff. I forgot what it's even called now, but it got filled up. Tried. I thought I could make it work because I didn't. I forgot about it. Windows 7 doing that. It uses a lot of data. <sighs> so uh, I had turned this 200 gigabyte hard drive that's also on this system into a backup for my phones, but now... I bought my Seagate for, uh, five terabyte, 4.5 terabytes what you get of space to use uh, USB hard drive. So now I can just uh, whack that 200 gigabyte. And I, f th I think I'll just make an image of the 64-bit uh, Windows system that's all up and going and put it on the 200 gigabyte drive. And then if it's still too slow and doesn't work good, then I'll have to go back to 32-bit because it ran fine on 32-bit. <coughs> it had got infected with viruses, as a matter of fact. I guess I'd say all my Windows system. Three Windows 7s, and I think my well, XP, which you would expect. I really don't use it, but I have XP on an old laptop. <laughs> but it actually acting like it might be messed up, too. So, and I don't know where it came from. That's what bugs me. But uh, I scanned this, this one? Yeah, this one about 10 times until I felt like it was clean. And the, and But then I didn't want to trust it. I just wanted to... Keep, you know, make sure I still all, had all my personal files. So I deleted all that Windows system from the 32-bit, but kept my personal files on there. Then I got that 30-gig hard drive, put it in the machine, and installed 64-bit Windows 7 on it. Because I wanted, there's a, a couple of apps that are 64-bit only I wanted to try using on it, but uh, it can't handle it. It barely runs itself, just like it is. They're a video, ed video editing app, one of them. Anyway... Uh, oh, I can do a screenshot of that now. That's what I was wanting. Was uh, I think it'll change? Well, it may. Ch well, it won't change. It'll usually stay the same for a good while. Uh, if you turn, if you reboot the router, it'll even usually stay. But if the power goes, if you if you turn, you know, unplug it or the power goes out. And these days, you never know when the power might go out for a while, a little while. Luckily, ours doesn't stay off long, hardly ever. Now or once in a while. But uh, there's me a screenshot of my. I did that on my Linux system. So now I'll know what my... And that's actually the way I need it. Now I'll say, okay, that's the IP address of the AS Rock. Okay. And there we go. And I can get to it. I can control it. With Team Viewer. Now, can I get to it with... Let's go ahead and close Team Viewer. And can I get to it? I don't think I can, but let's just try it. One nine two dot one six eight dot ten dot oh somebody forgot. One oh two one oh not actually hint. <laughs> 192.168.10.102. I don't think I can go to that router strip from this machine. Let's see. Yeah, connection was closed. But what I can do, now this won't work either right now because it's going to the machine that's machine. That, I forgot what it was pointing to, but that won't work. That's but that's my. Linksys router is what it is, but the forwarding is not not set right. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, I don't think I think I'll set it up and I'll come back because I don't know what I might be showing. I don't want my uh, to be showing things I shouldn't show to the world in my router. All right, bye.